Hey everyone, this is Arenas here and I'm doing a um, commentary uh, for battle for, on, for Napoleon Total War. Um, this is a 2v2 battle on grassy flatlands and um, uh, oops, I forgot to press the play button. I'm such an ass. Alright, I'm commanding the Prussians and my teammate Mahakar, who's also from the HM clan, is also commanding the Prussian. And as you can see, uh, I've brought a pretty standard build. I've got five lights, and uh, I believe, if I'm not wrong, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six musketeers and two foot guards, accompanied by six lancers. Oh, I'm sorry, I have four fusiliers and four four lights and one one skirmisher unit. It's a I was testing out this new build I have. Try to uh, try put a skirmisher unit instead of having five lights, which normally I bring. Uh, forgive me for my stuttering because it's currently twelve thirty a.m. here and I'm sleepy as hell. So yeah, let's take a look at my Mahakar's army. He's got. Uh, He's got four lancers. He's got oh, he's got two foot guards here. Another two foot guards here. So he has four foot guards and um four foot guards and three musketeers with five lights and one militia unit. Alright, let's head over to our opponents. One of them is commanding the French, and one of them is commanding Portugal. Uh, the French guys brought oh, he's brought six forts. So he broke the rules. The rules were no art, max five lights. So, but it wasn't really a problem. Um, he also brought four Polish legion, one old guard, and one he got seaman. So he has only six foot, uh, six line in total, which is which is quite little, and he has uh, two shooter calf and um, two elite lancer units with a normal general staff. So as you can see, uh, I'm rushing my my lights up. Uh, my opponent is for Portugal. They have some very good infantry units, but um, they are ha they are handicapped in the calf department because they only have one <coughs> one type of Portugal calf, which is mm, quite decent, but not the best you can get. Alright, he's brought a ton of infantry, and he has brought four four lights and one skirmishers. And as you can see here, um, the French guy is supporting the Portugal guy and sending his cab in. So I move my my line and angle to get a shot off. Uh, I managed to get a, a, a volley off and I can't charge him with my calf. As you can see here, um, I'm just placing my forces here <coughs> to hold them up while Mahaka advances and engage. Alright, for the two calf here, uh, Mahaka sends in his lancers to help me. And I read it to show the calf pretty easily. So basically, you want a good uh, communication when you're having a 2v2 or 3v3, it's really really important. So you can see here, um, they have both engaged in uh, light infantry combat. And Prussian lights are winning, as usual. 
so they have the best rights so you want to utilize them to the fullest by bringing five lights instead of me but as, uh, as I already told you earlier I was testing out my new build <coughs> So as you can see, it is put four units of line against two units, uh, two two foot guards and one musketeer unit with four calf. Over here, my opponent does a smart thing. He has moved his skirmishers here to here to um, to counter my my skirmishers. He has also moved his he's moving his lights up a little bit, a little bit. Alright, you can see here he's sending his calf here again. These are the elite lancers, Polish guard and Dutch guard lancers. You can see now how they obliterate my calf. Yep, she just took out 20 of my calf, just like that. So I'm sending more calf lancers. Shroud and Mahaka's Lancer unit as well. These guys are really really good Lancer units, but thing is they're very very expensive so I don't suggest you suggest you using it. And I depleted this and this other unit of um, Dutch Guard Lancers to 20 men. So wasn't that bad. I have four lenses over here left. So now you can see I'm still holding my forces here so Mahaka can finish off this guy and I can push my guy. And here I'm sending my lenses to help, help Mahaka. And I caught him off the square. But, uh, our men are running sir. They have already depleted in the number, so the old guard shakes them off pretty easily. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward. So you can see uh, Mahaka managed to destroy his right flank. And now uh, he's starting to push up his forces. And I'm still holding out my my side over here. Just moving my line up a little bit. And here's another two calf. So I got six calf coming through the our middle, which is uh kind of bad. So he charges his shooter calf, I form a square. So Marka is um, starting to flank the French player and um, yeah, not much happening in my side, at my side, so I'm sorry if you find it boring, so I'll take you over here for more action. So they're still engaging the light, light infantry from that here, but uh, his lights are clearly winning, so it's Pushing up three units of line, to flank, flank the French guy. No. So he's moving up <coughs> his forces pretty quick, and the French guy has a, only a few units left. Hold on, I said. Move my lights up, I give him the first shot, but it was alright. Holding my left flank over here as you can see. So now I'm engaged in a light infantry engagement and I'm Our uh, men are running sir. Oh more calf through the middle. But uh, we handled the calf pretty well with some 
good communication. Here you can see the Portugal guy pushing up his car for the line. And uh, Marka is just cleaning up, mopping up this guy. <laughs> so now I'm gonna fast forward. Pushed up my line, sending the care unit, for me making form into a square. I get my my guys get free shots of uh, these guys over here. Actually got one of his line with my foot guards. Our men are running for out of my care, but it was it was not a big problem. I have two left. The care was just to make them form a square so my guys can can get free shots of them. Alright, you can see here Marka is pushing up his army. Did really really well with this guy. So credits to him. I'm um, starting to flank my guy over here. Sir, your general has been killed. And this is a black day. My general got killed somehow by the yeah, by the stray <laughs> stray bullet. That was a beard. Rest in peace, my friend. Alright, uh, over here I push it apart and I call him off off a square so he did a square and uh, it's a good thing for me and I continue charging to his line and now the French guy is charging his general it's not a good thing to do but um, he, already, he has already lost his army so why not? <laughs> right, here I'm charging my lancers to slides. He's doing the same thing. Our men are running for from square. Marka is on my left. I'm on my right now. So pretty much um, it was obvious who was gonna be the winner here. Oh, here he managed to flank, outflank me. I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Yep. So, Marka is en enveloping him on uh, his left, and I'm pushing my guys up. Can see in a while. Oh, and the Portugal guy managed to sneak a heavy cath unit through, but my general, my general staff will take care of them. Yep, there they go. So basically, um, if you're playing pressure, you want to bring five lights. Because that's the normal rule, max five lights. One of our units has used um, all its ammunition, sir. Don't don't waste some money on um, skirmisher because they're not really good. I mean, the reason why you take pressure is for their lights, so there's no reason why you want to take skirmishers instead. They have reduced firepower and they have a longer reload time, so it's not really worth it in my opinion. So basically, um, Our men are running, sir. we've come to the almost end of the battle. Here's one unit left, one general staff. And, uh, there we go. And um, pretty much this is it. So it was a um, good game to we my opponent. We have killed their and, general, um, sir. Now they must break. Good game to my buddy, Marka. Give him credit for our win. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like the video. And until then, I'll see ya.